present. The next speaker is Melvin Jones. Good afternoon. My name is Melvin Jones. I'm a citizen of Richmond, Virginia. Um, I heard something really nice tonight. Compassion. That's what our police chief has got. Compassion for the community.
We will have books available for you to read. We would like for you to wear, to don this hat, and we will have one for you if you don't have one on that day to read to our children. Uh, this is a very exciting day for our children, and Woodville has been celebrating this day ever since it began. And we have the largest celebration. We usually have almost 100 readers who come to our school. So we're excited about that day. Once again, I will be coordinating this school activity. Please contact me if you're interested in reading and let me know what time that you would like to come that day. You will be joining the school board members, legislators, the mayor, the governor, and any other people that I have invited. I've even gone national this time. I'm trying to invite TV nationalities. We have WTBR, we have Channel 8, Channel 12, anybody who wants to come to read, excuse me, <coughs> this weather. To my school, I am invited. If you have any other guests that you'd like to come, just let me know and I would love to have them. Once again, March the 8th, between 9 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you.
Thomas and all the Nazi nice department and the Richmond Police Department's faithful leader, Spot Richard, which was founded by Chief Norwood. I currently sit on the steering committee and I meet with Chief Norwood and his command staff regularly to formulate community strategies and act as a liaison between the police department and the broader faith community. In working in this capacity with Chief Norwood, not only have I personally witnessed his visionary leadership of the department, I have also seen his commitment to the people of our city. His commitment is manifested not only in his determination to reduce crime in our city, especially violent crime, not only his loyal obligation to the men and women of his department in providing them with the best training and equipment that's currently available, not only in his visionary leadership to bring together all stakeholders for their input in defining and solving the problems of our city. But I see something more important than all of that. As I observe Chief Norwood, I see a passion, almost a fanatical tribe that I didn't see in his predecessors. That passion is for the people of our city. Sugar Bear Jones can find another person to lead the police department. I wholeheartedly support his right to do so. Law enforcement, law enforcement professionals all across the country will eagerly accept the challenge of leading the great officers of that department in a world-class city like Richmond. In fact, there are already some people already with the department who would provide excellent leadership. However, it's bigger than that. Rarely, maybe once in a generation, God raises up a leader perfectly fit to lead a certain organization at a crucial time in that organization's history. We've seen it with Abraham Lincoln. We saw it with Martin Luther King. Mr. President, as I close, please understand that I'm not here to defend Chief Norwood. I'm a preacher, not a politician. I was born and raised in Richmond. Lived there all my life. I simply want you and others to know that Richmond is blessed and should be honored to have a great leader of the caliber of Chief Norwood. If Chief Norwood leaves Richmond for another city, for an eternity, all of us will have to admit to ourselves that the city that he said is better off than our city. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Mr. President. Uh, yes, Mr. Trimble. Hey, while Mr. Trimble was talking, if Reverend Broaddus and Mr. Young would come up to the microphone and formal, I would appreciate it. Yes, Mr. Trimble. I just wanted to pass you now. I'm going to save my comments until after the others speak, but I'm going to make, I'm going to make a few statements after those speakers speak, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Mr. Clerk, is Ms. Uh, Reverend Brooks next? Yes. Yes. Yes, Mr. President. Reverend Sharon Brooks. Yes, that's my name, and good evening to all of you, and thank you for allowing me to speak before the group. I'm going to sort of piggyback on Reverend Boyd, and I'm going to quote one of the um, chief police for him, Michael Camp, he made the statement, it would be a huge loss for the region if Chief Norwood left. And I had a chance to talk with uh, the Chief Middleton, and he also said that Chief Norwood brought the chiefs together for each county and that he was an outstanding upward man, a man of integrity. And I agree. I've been around many leaders, but Chief Norwood, his word is his word, is his bond. And he is considered um, very concerned with the citizens of Richmond. Not only does he send us out as faith leaders, to a crime error. I just left, uh, that's Mosby Court, doing a walkthrough with the other police officers, and she joins us sometimes. He has a heart of compassion. We were doing uh, a health fair over in um, Hillside Court, 
where it was having a lot of trouble. Those people in those areas, they respect him as a police officer, a uh, chief, and they like his, his, uh, his force, his tanks. One little girl came up to him, and it touched my heart. I watched people. She said, are those clothes free? She said, yes, honey, they're free. She said, will you help me pick out clothes? And he smiled at her. He said, well, I'll do the best I can. And he, she said, well, can I get my sister? He said, yes. And I was standing by him, and we smiled. She took the time with that little girl to pick out clothes. He could have handed her off to me. I was standing there, but he did it himself. And the child was happy, and the family was happy that they had school clothes. If it was not for Chief Norwood, the faith leaders would not function like we're functioning now and know the things that we know. So I am uh, appealing to you all, if there's anything you can do, to help keep our chief, it would be good. Sure, you can bring someone up within the ranks, but why move for a man that's doing a great job that even the hoodlums look up to him? They don't like him because they know he's coming after him, but they even respect him, I've heard him say. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Collins. Our next speaker is Joshua Young. President, council members, I heard a man speak tonight and talk about the Chief's compassion. I heard another man talk about his leadership in the police department. And then I heard the Reverend talk about him as a person. Nobody knows that better than the Young Adult Police Commission, the organization that the Chief himself started five years ago for us to meet every Thursday for two hours, for us to talk about things facing our communities, for us to be advocates for our youth. It may be Richmond's best kept secret, and we might be the spokespeople for over a thousand, three thousand, however so, and so forth. But all I know is that every week when we met with the chief, he was there. He shared kind of words with us. He talked to us. He took us out into the community. Not to mention, he took us into his own parents' house and him. Now, I've never met anybody that would just bring us around the family and treat us as his own and spend the whole day with us, bust us down there and bring us back, feed us and everything. That's the type of man you're talking about when you're talking about Chief Noble. And while I have no power to keep him here, make an appeal or anything like that, because I'm just a child. But I will say that him as a leader, him as a person, truly exceptional. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Young.
not going to be a big person for me. He's done it for the Aid District and for the City of Richmond. To reach out to those children, to reach out to the seniors, to reach out to anyone that has come to him and said, I need help, or can you just listen to me? And then to say that we don't want him anymore? That's wrong. We do want him. We don't want him to go. We want him to stay. And as I have said before, we have fought to get rid of police chiefs, but we have never, ever, that I can remember, living in a city 54 years in the AIM district, to fight to keep the chief. We want him to stay. We want to send a message over to the mayor. Don't make him go. Let him stay. And don't use it if he leaves. Oh, he wanted to go. No, he doesn't. He has said right on Channel 6, I want to stay. I want to stay in Richmond. And it is us. We need to send a message to the mayor and to others. We don't want to go. We're going to fight to keep him here. We're going to fight to keep this chief here. To continue to do what he has done since he's been here. And who cares who brought him here? We don't care who brought him here. We want him to stay to continue to do what we have asked him to do. Community policing. Those police officers look up to that chief, to our police chief. Surrounding counties. We've been on TV. They've asked, has Richmond, Virginia did it? We did it because of our police chief and because of all of us wanting to work with him. I can remember back in the time, in 1996, we wouldn't even talk to a police officer or to that chief. And he wouldn't talk to us either. And the crime was, what, 160 homicides? Children and, and mothers and, and, and grandmothers sleeping in bathtubs, dodging bullets not far from my house. Where I've seen 12-year-olds shot in the head. And this is the first time that we've had faith base come out here and beg for us, us not council members. Hey, God, we're not going to do our job. What do you need us for? If we're not going to fight for what is right, what are we going to sit up here for? Folks, I appreciate the comment from Mr. Trails Cons. However, council rules for big applause for me point of uh, reporting stuff for during the words of presentations. So if you could please hold your applause, I'd appreciate it. Mr. Trammell, I apologize for the moment. Just remember, come out tomorrow to that rally and support our police chief. Please come out tomorrow night at 6 30 and show him that the men live in the city where we come out there and support our police chief. We want to keep him away from us. Thank you. Thank you. If anyone has any questions, you can call my house. My home number is 233 7382. Again, 233 7382. That's my home. My personal cell is 240 5050. And I live at 2709 H A P E N 8 Navigate, Richmond. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At this point, we're going to move to any motions or expedited aid. <laughs>